Hi everyone, we are now in one of our lessons on geometry, finding the area of a kite. So what is a kite? So here it says, a kite is a quadrilateral with two pairs of adjacent sides that are equal in length. So if you look at that, it's like perfect like slice into half, right? So let's have an example on how we could solve the area of a kite. So if you look over here, this is a this is a kite, and you could see that um, the green line is four. So from here to the other end is four, and from one end to the other end is also five meters. And you could see that these are two identical triangles, so it plays all together, correct? So we could also find the area of finding this area of the triangle, and then since there are two of them, we multiply it by two. So let's try to solve that. All right, since the formula of a triangle is one half base times height, we could like use this formula to solve a problem. And since this is four, so we could consider this little part over here as two, and this little part over here is two because we break it into half. So let's substitute the value. So they're gonna become one half. Uh, let's take the base as two, and our height is five. And with that said, so one half base times height, so they're gonna be 10. And then gonna be 10. And then you still have to divide it by two, so you can get five. So that's gonna give us 10 times half or 10 divided by two. So that's gonna end up that we're gonna get five. And since that is an M or a meter, so it's meters. But then remember, it's that only one side. There are two of them. So this part and that part. So we're going to just end up with 5 plus 5 or 5 um, times 2. So I answer for the area of the total of this kite is 10 m squared. Because we're going to have the area 1 and area 2. Let's try to solve it in different um a scenario let's see it in terms of a quadrilateral before I go to that let's have another example so this is a kite um, this line over here okay this line over here is 8 and the straight the from here to the end is up 10 so with that said so it means this is 4 and that is 4 I will solve will um, will break this apart into a um, two triangles correct so we could just make it an area so we're gonna decompose them into two triangles so one half base times height and we'll just substitute the value right all right so substituting the value at the base is gonna be four of this triangle and the height will be ten and then we multiply it to one half or divide it, or we divide it by two and um, so we get an answer of 20. But then there are two of them. So now the area for uh, this kite over here is 20 plus 20. That gives you 40. So let's say that's centimeters, so 40 uh, square centimeters. If it is a centimeter, so it depends what your unit is. So here we go. We're going to solve this in another um, perspective. So let's look over this. So if you remember this figure that we just have solved, so we're gonna use this as a um, quadrilateral. So we're just gonna see and how you could see it in different way. So this, I could move it towards here, right? And I could just like um, switch it this way. I think I got it right. Wait, how did I do that? <laughs> this way okay so that gonna be um, one of the shape we just turn it over this one I think I'm gonna flip this one all right say so flipped to the right yes so now I flipped it and I put it together remember in a previous page that we have this is 4 and the height is 10 we'll still use it like that so this is still 4 and the height is still 10 right 
So now this doesn't look like a triangle anymore. This already looked like a rectangular, uh, a rectangle uh, shape. So with that said, the area of a rectangle, we're just going to solve it using length times the width. We substitute the value of 4 times 10. That was 10 though. I don't know where I get 4. My bad. So now area, because I think I was already thinking of the answer. 40. And remember we said this is centimeters squared. So that is centimeters squared. Right? So we could um, definitely convert this one. We just move it to the side to become a rectangular space or um, shape. And we end up with a rectangle. So the base and the height. Okay? Have another example. We know that a kite is a quadrilateral with two pairs of adjacent sides that are equal in length. So Jackson is a rectangular piece of cloth. That is an area of 298 square centimeters. Does Jackson have enough cloth to make the kite? So this is a kite and this is what we need. So I give you a little time to solve the problem. Okay. All right. Step one, we decompose the kite into two identical triangles and find the area of the triangle. So this is a triangle and that's the height. So the height will total be 30 and this is going to be 10. All right, so let's solve for that. So we know that's one half base times height, so that's 30 times 10, which is 300 times one half, which is 150 square centimeter. Since each of the triangles are identical, so they have two the same area. So the total area for that one is 300 square centimeters. But the question was, does Jackson have enough cloth to make the kite? So, since the total area of the kite is of uh, 300 square centimeter, and we know that 300 square centimeter is greater than 298 square centimeter, so therefore, Jackson do not have, does not have enough cloth to make the kite. He's almost there though, but he doesn't have enough to make it. Let's try one last example. So, this is a kite. Uh, with the base of 3 and 3 and the height of 4 and 6 or you could also look at it in a different way I uh, could say that this is the height which is 6 and the base which is 10 we already know that we can solve it using base times height since it is a quadrilateral so let's solve all right so if you try to solve it and you got 60 square inches as your answer then you get it right right so you don't really have to be crazy to find the area of a triangle and, and multiply it by two. All you have to do is think that it is a um, equal sides, equal lengths are two identical triangles. So all you have to do is to think it is a quadrilateral and solve it like the same with a parallelogram. So 10 and 6. There you go, 60 square inches. So I really want you to have more practice in your workbook and see if you could uh, solve the area of a kite. It's not that bad. It is so easy. Good luck, everyone. And do your uh, self-assessment and how far you've gone to this um, topic or lesson for today. Have a wonderful day. Until next time. Bye for now.